This is Nadine, my new favorite human. When I came to D.C. to protest literally everything and found the William Thomas Memorial Anti-Nuclear Peace Vigil that sits in front of the White House holding down the fort for our First Amendment rights, I found Nadine. She makes her own signs and masks and shirts. And since the fence that was erected by Trump to keep protesters away during the BLM protests has become a memorial fence representing voices from all over the country and the lives of our neighbors killed by the police or in police custody, Nadine tends to it as if it were her own, protecting it and fixing and rehanging signs that are torn down by Trump supporters. She sweeps the sidewalk in front of it. She grieves when things are stolen from it that she did not even place there. She protects our voices. She does not associate herself with the peace vigil because she says she is not peaceful. Though she helps out when needed, and her brand of protest is righteous and loud and falls in the space where the need for peace and human rights is monumental and direct and angry and deserves to be angry. Trump's the day. Yes, he is! No Trump! No KKK! No racist USA! No, all good. Oh! Trump's a dick. Trump's a racist. Trump's a white supremacist. The country is in danger of becoming a dictatorship under Trump. Okay. Police brutality. One of the reasons I'm out here mainly is because police brutality is not stopping. And it happens that I'm married to a cop who doesn't realize that he's a racist. So I, I actually put this here because this happened in July. Please come out and vote because I don't have four more years in me to fight Trump because he will allow the police to continue killing us. I don't have four more years. So please, please come out and vote. Vote him out! Vote him out! This message was not paid for because there are some things more important than money.